Hello, Denny. How is your sandwich? And how is the leaky AC? And also, how are you? Pretty good. No leak. Oh, good. So, what I'm not going to be doing for this stream, uh, I'm not going to be doing Real Survival or Invisible Enemy, uh, because that's both, they're both horrible. What I am going to do, Resident Evil. So we're going to be, uh, Jill, what costume do we want? Do we want original, uh, unique? Resident Evil 3 or Resident Evil 5? Him. I like this one because of the hat. Also, here are Chris's. Same. Really, it's the only way. Chris, no WTF. <laughs> That's how he looked originally. Years before Resident Evil 5. Alpha team is flying around the forest zone, situated in northwest Raccoon City. Also, so this is, uh, this is remake. Patriots. So we Alpha don't have the, uh, bad voice acting. Bizarre murder cases have recently occurred in Raccoon City. There are outlandish reports of families being attacked by a group of about oh, 10 man, people. LOL. Victims were apparently eaten. The Bravo team was sent in to investigate, but we lost contact. Look, Chris! Bravo team's helicopter was a derelict. Save for the remaining body of Kevin. We continued our search for the other members, and it turned into a nightmare. Oh no, run, it's the spooky dogs. <sighs> oh god, they're in a crushing, they can't hear us. Okay. There's that, uh, there's that Devil May Cry 1 shotgun sound effect. Good job, Jill. You helped. Come on. It must be awful to be eaten by zombie dogs. Probably.
Wesker. Have I played a single game that... Excuse me. Okay, that's weird. F okay, for some reason, the, uh, the loading screens yeah. are blocked, left now. but nothing else? Wesker, okay. And myself. We don't know where Chris is. How did you lose Chris? What is this place? What a mansion. Not quite okay. your ordinary house, that's for sure. Hey, Whisker, where's Chris? Jill, no. You don't want to go back out there. Is that DC Douglas? Got to find... What was that? You Chris. know what this place is, No. Bitch. Jill, go and investigate. I'm going with her. Chris and I go back a long way. All right. You two go. I'll secure this area. Stay sharp. <clears throat> A dining room. All right, wait. Oh. Oh, I forgot I had this. Hmm. <laughs> well, we're not going to use that. Uh, <laughs> uh, first, uh, first item box we find, I'm putting that away. By the way, uh, no tank yeah. controls. No tank controls at all. Uh, we can have them if we want. But, why would we? It's inferior. Yeah, that's nice. Pick up the... Pick up the ribbon! Okay, whatever. I think you'd better take a look at this. What is it? Blood. Hope it's not Chris's blood. Jill, see if you can find any other clues. And this is like one of the most quotable games of all time, and none of the quotes are in this game. Oh, well, there it was, but not the same. Barry. Give me your magnum. Good cutscene. But what about a Jill sandwich? That's... Uh, it's not Jill sandwich. Uh, the new line is you would have fit nicely into a sandwich. Alright, is everybody ready? Okay, here we go. That sounds sexual. And we just walk all the way back here because it saves a bullet. Barry! What is it? Look out! It's a monster! Let me take care of it! hell is this thing? I found Kenneth killed by this yeah, thing. Yeah, let Barry waste his bullets. Let's report this to Wesker. Yeah, let Barry waste his bullets on his magnum bullets on chest shots. Oh, he got up and left. Jill, help me look for him. Let's not leave this hall. Good idea. Uh, 
I'm not going to do that the whole time. Just the first time. So, uh, for some reason, when you walk upstairs, it's faster to uh, do your walking animation, but also mash the sprint, mash the run button, but only on stairs. Barry. Any luck, Jill? LOL. No, nothing. What's going on around here? I can't figure it out. Same here. Chris, and now Wesker. There's not much we can do. We can search for him separately. I'll investigate the dining room again. Okay, then. I'll try the door on the other side. <sighs> this mansion is gigantic. What a we mansion. Lost. Let's start from the first floor. Okay. Oh, I almost forgot. It's a lockpick. You'd make better use of it. Yep. Thanks. I may need it. Listen. If something happens, let's meet up in this hall. Got it? Okay. Master of Unlocking is just completely gone. So, the mansion's pretty big. Uh, let's see. From here we can't really do much. Since the only other door is locked. But I do believe... We can go in here. Oh. Alright then. So at the end of that hallway there is a uh, defense knife and a zombie. Uh, but it's a cutscene zombie. So we're not going to bother with it. Because later it'll turn into a crimson head. So let's just make sure that can't get out. Also... Uh, oh, I forgot. We have to find it first. Okay. That door is locked and we need the sword key. Woman drawing water. Okay. Um, so all that closet is, is it lets you change your costume. But we don't need that. That's the helmet key. Uh, don't open this front door, otherwise the dogs will come in. Can we go outside yet? Uh, let's not even bother checking right now. Oh goody. Okay, so, uh, in this game, you need to spend items to save, and they are limited. So, you can only save a certain number of times, and you can only save at typewriters, which makes sense. So the zombie is gone. Oh, yeah, let's take that. We'll need that for later. Also, uh, for whatever reason, uh, here's Jill's inventory. It's eight spaces, and that never increases. 
Uh, Chris only gets six. So. What the fuck? Let's see. So all of the doors in this hallway are locked except for the one at the end of the hall. Uh, she gets the bazooka, right? Uh, no. Oh, there he is. Um, there's no, like, bazooka in this game. You only get it at the end of the game against the final boss. Uh, if I remember right, the, yeah. f the first game that ad actually gives you, like, a rocket launcher to use outside of the final boss is 4. Unless I'm forgetting something in 3. Okay. So, uh, the, uh, the rocket launcher kind of taking up space. But we'll get rid of that soon enough. This corpse collapsed on the floor like it was an instant death. What the hell happened in this mansion? Also bullets. They also take up inventory space. And healing items don't stack. Uh, unless you combine them, which makes them stronger. Oh my god. It's like they want you to suffer. It's just a it's just a limited inventory. It's not a super huge deal. Okay. Uh this guy, this guy's bullshit. So uh, you can already kind of see that his skin is a little red. Hold on. Let me just reset that guy. Oh god, oh no, Crimson Zombie. Nope. Can't touch this. Gotta pick this up. And the bullets. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Okay, so uh, one grab put me into a red caution. Okay, so uh, this game has a mechanic that is the auto aim because, you know, there's no proper aiming in this game. Um, so if you're, if you're aiming like this, and it's not, like, locking on to the zombie, that means they're dead. Um, but yeah, this room's gonna be a problem later, considering neither of their heads popped. So, there's probably gonna be three crimson heads in this room. So that's good. Oh shit. No zombies in this room right now. That door's locked and it needs the sword key. And they can follow you to other rooms, yes? Uh, not normally. 
but sometimes uh, a zombie can burst through. Like, if it's off screen, uh, yeah, sometimes a zombie can move to another room. But it's, there's like one or two examples of that. We're just defiling art, no big deal. But honestly, yeah, if I can spend as little time as possible in that room, that's a good thing. All right, so we got the uh, the arrowhead off the golden arrow. Which means we want to take it over here. Also, it's been like several years since I've played this. And the last thing I did in this game was a speed run. Uh, but by no means is that going to happen again. I don't remember the distance to the uh, to force the grab that I want him to do. Well, there it was, but. Good. Did Crimson Heads scare the shit out of you the first time you met them? Uh, yeah. Oh, I forgot. We have to actually go into the menu and use it from the menu. Oh, uh, I should explain one other thing about the game. Um, so Jill has more inventory space, but takes more damage and deals less damage than Chris does. Uh. Alright, so now we got a fake key. A curse, four masks, blah, blah, blah. It's just telling us, us about the puzzle in this room. We're going to need four masks to progress. And here you can see that we're locking onto a zombie because I'm aiming here, but I'm, I'm facing here, but I'm aiming. All right, well, I was. LOL. Yeah, look at how bullshit this camera angle is. Like, look at that! Fuck you. All right, shotgun ammo. So 
So it's not a guarantee that every zombie in the game will become a crimson head. Uh, sometimes they will just stay dead. But most of the time, especially later in the game, Uh, I know where I need to go. Sure wish I hadn't spent all three healing items on that one. Hmm. Yeah. Uh. Sheesh. Boobs. Oh, there's a, uh. There's an item here, but we're going to leave it there for now because I don't want to fill up my inventory. Now, hopefully the zombie in this room is to my right. Yeah. So this room has now been populated with birds. Don't ever shoot at birds in this game. Well, that sounds pleasant. Okay. So this is the room that I'll just show you on the map. Why? Uh, because they will swarm you and they are very unpleasant to deal with. I actually don't have a map yet. Oh, no, I do. Uh, so this is the room from earlier with the mirror and the two zombies in the crimson head that's already on the ground there. So we just want to spend as little time as possible in that room. This room, though, very pleasant. Uh, this this room gave me a bit of trouble when I first played it. Excuse me. This is the wrong key. This is not the key I thought it was. Oops. That's fine. We can just put it back. Okay, um... Da, 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 da. So that probably means that that door is open. I know where to go. At least I think I know where to go. Okay, it's not this one. That's fine. Uh, that just means it's upstairs. And yeah, I'm not even gonna screw with the, uh, the other end of that room. I get through this room really quick so that Jimmy over here doesn't bite me.
Okay, so really quick, let's see. It shouldn't be the... No, I don't think it can be this room. Okay, well. I guess I'll just keep my mouth shut. So I forgot that uh what there is a um a problem with this save file and that's that it spawns that zombie now that I've beaten it with the uh on the hard difficulty so because I have the rocket launcher that means that zombie spawns and if you attack him in any way who is that he will self-destruct, blowing up the whole mansion, and giving you a game over. Uh, it might be a smarter idea to just make a new game instead of playing on this good save Wow, laughing. Considering we're just playing with the uh, basic costume anyway. Because he will spawn the entire game. No. He's not just in that room. He's he'll Makes follow you. More fun. No, I don't want to deal with that. Okay, first save room of the game. Oh, there's the closet key. So this will open the... Uh, this will open the closet with the costume changes I talked about. And I'm really tempted to take this. I'm really tempted to take this. I earned this. <laughs> if I'm going to be dealing with fucking... I don't remember who... I don't remember who, who that is. I think it's Forrest. Oh, I'm super tempted to take the handgun. Do what you want, Ben. I mean, if... If, if I did what I want, I'd be taking the rocket launcher, but... Don't look at all these save files. Alright, so we are saving in the third slot. I'll have to remember that. But yeah, I'm gonna take the infinite handgun. I've never done a playthrough with it, and I feel like I deserve it. Oh, I forgot there's no way to rearrange equipment. 
Well, if I'm doing that, I don't need the knife. You've earned it. I mean, I've also earned the rocket launcher, but I'm not. I'm. That's. That's almost too unfair. I think this is Wesker's gun. I think, yeah, the Samurai Edge. Uh, also, this zombie will never wake up. He's actually permadead. I really like the music. Well then, that's that problem solved forever. what um so that was just really lucky <laughs> that we killed that zombie in one shot uh this gun doesn't do that where's my map what button is my map i know there's a button for it there it is Okay, so the door we just unlocked was the door. Oh, it's not the special zombie friend. No. God, I can't believe I have to deal with that now. Okay. Um, so this door is the door that leads to the room with the three zombies. We're not going to do that right now. We're going uh, this way. Ooh. The new Guilty Gear trailer is going to be tomorrow. Oh, here is a... Yeah. Yeah, so this is like a... It's basically oh a healing boy. fountain. Uh, you get a few uses of this. But... I think this hallway is safe for now. So yeah, let's just come over here and unlock this door. Because uh, this door leads back out to the main hall. And I want to see what this room is. Because I don't remember. I think it's... It's the uh, long hallway. It's the U hallway. Yeah, okay. We're not going to go here yet. What we are going to do... No. We needed the sword key, so yeah, we are gonna go there. I think it's the sword key? It's the sword armor key, but either way, I don't have it yet. Infinite handgun, baby. <laughs> Man, this feels disingenuous. <laughs> I 
I don't care. This game's hard. Okay. So here's the whistle. Uh, this. Oh, I guess I'll read this. Ahem. Today, Suspenser told me to hide something where no one could find it. But I had this idea. I figured if I could somehow have it protected by a dangerous animal, like the vicious canine that lives here, no one would be able to get near it. I don't know why this guy has this voice, but he does. As far as I can tell, the mutt is always hanging around the second floor balcony on the west side of the terrace, and he ought to come running at the sound of a dog whistle. This is where you come in. The thing is, I reckon you're the only person that can get near the damn dog without risking a serious mauling, which means only you can put this collar on him. The object that suspense once hidden is concealed inside. The only person, you're the only person, excuse me, I can trust with this. Of course, you'll get something out of it as well. Remember that certain item that you've always wanted to get hold of. Well, in exchange for your services, I just might be able to get it for you. This could work out well for both of us. John Tolman. That's that guy's voice, apparently. Oh boy, bullets I don't need. God, that hurt my neck. Okay, I got the lighter. Uh... What's my... It's L2. Why is... No, it's R2. Why is the map R2? I think... The only thing in this room making it incomplete are the bullets on the table. So, I think we're good. Boy, that guy had a weird voice, huh? Okay, that's a trap. That's a double trap. And that's a triple trap. Alright, I'm just gonna go. Fuck you. Three zombies in that room. Come on, game. F that guy, I want this room to be safe. I blew that, head, that guy's head off, apparently. So we can't do that all the time with every zombie in the game, but we can do it with all of these ones. Uh, this one doesn't need it because apparently I killed him and his head exploded. Okay, so we need shield, armor, and sword. I don't remember what this room is. Unlit fireplace. 
slap that there. Use the lighter. And it burns a map onto the wood. And now we have a map. Okay, so a helmet key. Let's pick this up. I wonder if, because I'm using this save file, if that just makes everything harder in general. Because it seems like it does. Um, all of these zombies are taking a lot of bullets, despite the fact that I'm using the, uh, the infinite gun. So you can only go through this, uh, you can only go one way through this door, I believe. You can't go back. So this is a special room. Uh, it doesn't require these sword, armor, or shield keys. This one is the armor. And this one, we can just go through, apparently. But I know we can't use it yet, and it's dangerous here, so we're not going to do that. What really matters is these double doors. This is not the room I thought it was. defense knife. Okay. So there's the shotgun. Um. As you can see, it is very clearly a trap. And I don't think I can use it right now. And I don't remember what allows I don't remember the criteria for using it yet but uh, if I could do it what would happen is uh, the ceiling in this room would start coming down on me uh, and this door would be locked and this door would be locked and Barry would be on the other side of this door, and he'd pull me out, and he'd have the Jill sandwich line. And the way to circumvent all that, I believe... Yay for Jill sandwich. Okay, so you see right under uh, Mansion First Floor and Typewriter Item Box on the top left of the map, uh, there's a room with a horizontal red line that indicates a door. In that room, there's a broken shotgun, and that'll allow us to pick up the regular shotgun by ourselves. This room's a trap. Uh, this room is also a trap. 
No, it's not. Uh, well, I don't think I can even open it. Oh, I can. So out that way, there is like an outside uh, walkway with a couple healing items and an item we'll need later. I'm starting to think... Welp. Bye, Jill. One. I'm starting to think... Is that a storm? I think that's a storm outside. Huh. Okay, so we're back here. I paid the price for being a butthead and taking the infinite handgun. Sounds like it. Now, no, I'm, mm, these zombies seem extraordinarily tough for some reason, but this wouldn't, this would make it not a game anymore. This would just make it a curb stomp festival. And yeah, the save room music is really good. But dogs. Yeah, those uh, those dogs took more bullets. You know what, didn't he? You're right. Why? Why even take a risk? when I've earned the infinite rocket launcher. Uh, I'm gonna actually take both. Cause fuck you. Man, this is a t this is a terrible stream of Resident Evil. I shouldn't have done this. <laughs> well, 
Well, it's gonna be fun now. Oh man, this is not what this game is at all. <laughs> so here's the broken shotgun. That'll uh, that'll let us get the other shotgun. Burn, baby, burn. That we don't even need. <laughs> Why am I doing this? Oh, this is so stupid. <laughs> okay. To be fair, hold on. I'm going to justify this. I already have a full playthrough of Resident Evil 1 on my YouTube channel. And I streamed it. So I'm not going to feel bad about this. There. Justified. I'm playing it the way I want to. And the way I want to is with a rocket launcher. That doesn't hurt me at all. Uh, we still do have to be cautious of self-destructo, man. But for the most part, we should be good. This game is goofy. That was the wrong room, and there he was again. Dum to dum, uh, Resident Evil One, self destruct zombie. Uh. Bomb zombie. I can't even use a defensive item on him? Damn, okay. So I just have to kind of let him grab me then, apparently. If I get caught. So I better not get caught. Ugh. This is a bad save file. I should have just done a new game and played on easy. Oh well. Even with infinite rocket launchers, we can still be killed. Because we're bad at video games, apparently. And this is going to be a goofy playthrough now. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely hearing thunder. I kind of want to open my window at this point. Let's get this. Oh. Oh, oh my back is killing me. Give me that dog whistle. I'm not going to read this again. I don't even remember the guy's voice. I think it was something like this. But. <laughs> if 
Fuck you. You'll come out. I think they can still come back as Crimson Heads even though I killed them with a rocket launcher. Uh, I can't put away any of this. Put away the gun. <laughs> I don't know why, but for some reason I feel like what happened is that after you beat the game on whatever difficulty I beat it on or whatever requirements I did to unlock the rocket launcher and the infant handgun, whatever I did to do that just made the game overall harder. But I can't prove that. So there is a big lie that I just read on a forum. Uh, this is one dangerous zombie mode. And he's not supposed to show up until I have the sword key. He's an asshole. A little bit. Currently, yeah. Uh, also, this gimmick puzzle returns in RE7 in a fun way. It's very similar. It requires... Uh, it doesn't... Uh, it doesn't bring the ceiling down on you or anything, but it does lock you in. I Meaning you can't have the shotgun until you find a broken shotgun to replace it with. Oh, how fun. Yeah, RE7, I definitely want to stream someday. But I don't actually own a copy. I've only ever borrowed it. Uh, if I was going to stream RE7, I would want to do all the DLC. Uh, all the story DLC, at least, because they're actually really good. Also, there was a zombie in the tub. I forgot to mention. There was also a knife in the tub. Interrupted his bath. Well, his bath in which he was completely submerged. I 
We need this item right here. And aside from the healing items, uh, that's the only reason to go in that hallway. Uh... Just making sure. Okay, so we're back here. I know where to go now. Jill. I don't remember ever getting this cutscene. Other than I'm still alive in this madhouse? No. Can't say it's much safer here either. We'd better secure our escape route first. There's gotta be a back door somewhere. Alright then, let's split up again. See you later. Ciao. Alright then. Uh, my inventory is full, so I don't think I got the thing from him. Oh well. Okay, so let's remember, this is the bullshit room that has the bullshit zombie in it. Fucking self-destructing, super fast, can't use a defense item zombie. Yeah, because splitting up is the best idea in a mansion full of zombies. Especially when one of your teammates has a rocket launcher, a shotgun, a lighter, multiple healing items. Uh, I blew the dog whistle. Fuck you. Hold on. Is that outside or is that in the game? I think that's outside. So I don't need the dog whistle anymore. Discard? Yes. Thumbs up. And then we're just going to walk right back in and pick up the dog collar. Also, there can't be uh, crimson head dogs because that would be nonsense and cheating.
Thumbs up. So if, if anybody ever calls this unfair, just remember that I did in fact die in a save file in which I was using an infinite handgun. KLOL. And we can't go into the uh, second floor dining hall because it still has forest in it. Uh oh. went the wrong way. By the way, new viewers, we're using a rocket launcher. I'm not going to feel bad about it. Welcome to my to my stream. I can see the chat laugh. Hey blue. E Y Y. I am here. Hello. How's it going? How are you? Never mind that lasted five sec. So now we have the real armor key. And we put the fake armor key in its place. Did I never pause the stream? Uh, whoops. Helmet key. Wait, there's no shield key, is there? I don't remember. I think it's sword, shield, uh, no. Shield, there's no shield. It's sword, helmet, armor. That door doesn't open for a really long time. Okay, let's try the... Ow. 
the door on the other side of the second floor of the lobby. Shit. Fuck you, Forrest. <sighs> well, that's a problem. Oh, it's friend. That's actually a massive problem. Because now he's in this room. Okay, I can't use a defense item on him. But that doesn't mean I can't heal. Gonna unequip all my weapons just to be safe. Bye. Jerk. Keeper's Diary, May 9th, 1998. Played poker tonight with Scott and, Eli and Elias from Security and Steve from Research. Steve was the big winner, but I think he was cheating. Scumbag. One of the higher-ups assigned me to take care of a new creature. It looks like a skinned gorilla. Feeding instructions were to give it live animals. When I threw in a, when I threw in a pig, the creature seemed to play with it, tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before it actually started eating. At around 5 a.m., Scott woke me up. He scared the shit out of me, too. He was wearing a protective suit. He handed me another one and told me to put it on. Said there'd, been, said there'd been an accident in the basement lab. I just knew something like this would happen. This bastard's in research, never sleep, even on holiday. I've been wearing my damn space suit since yesterday. My skin's getting grimy and, I, and feels itchy all over. The goddamn dogs have been looking at me funny, so I decided not to feed them today. Screw them. Went to the infirmary because my back is all swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on it and told me I didn't need to wear the suit anymore. All I want to do is sleep. Found another big blister on my foot this morning. I ended up dragging my foot all the way to the dog's pen. They were quiet all day, which is weird. Then I realized some of them had escaped. Maybe this is their way of getting back at me for not feeding them the last three days. If anybody finds out, uh, I'll have my head handed to me. Rumors going around that a researcher who tried to escape the estate last night was shot. My entire body feels hot and itchy, and I'm sweating all the time now. I scratched the swelling on my arm, and a piece of rotten flesh just dropped off. What the hell's happening to me? Fever gone, but itchy. Today hungry and eat doggy food. Itchy, itchy. Scott came. Ugly face, so killed him. Tasty. Itchy. Tasty. So that was the itchy tasty note. It's a good note. I like that note. I like it a lot. Easy peasy. 
Lemon squeezy. Uh... I can come in here, but I do believe I forgot a certain item. Yeah. Okay, so we have to go back into the room with Forrest and grab the chemical for... Have we done that on this? Yes, we did. How much is that zombie in the window? Okay, so at least he has a recognizable noise that he makes. So that I can just straight up tell he's in the room. I just see Jill appearing in hallways. Yeah, that's how it be. I went the wrong way. Again, because I'm dumb. Excuse me? Well, that's good to know. So the rocket isn't a guaranteed one shot. Also, Blue, can you hear me? I don't know if it's lagging, like, so bad that it can't Has be. Wesker appeared? Yeah, Wesker was in, like, the first cutscene. I probably won't be a year if you answer the lab. Wesker was in the first cushion. All right, so we got our first uh, death mask. We need four of them. Also, there are five healing items here. I'm gonna take one. I can't believe I missed Wesker. Well, I mean, there's always the VOD. Forest is in this room. Uh, 
Okay. What do I need to do still? I have the armor key. So let's try... The door on the first floor here, and the door on the second floor. Okay, that one's a helmet. Can't use that one then. Cool. Wait, isn't this where forest is? Normally? Oh, there's the grenade launcher, if I didn't have the rocket launcher. Richard! What happened? You're wounded! This whole place is a killing zone. There are monsters. What did this to you? A big snake. And it had to be poisonous. Poisonous? Richard, hold on. Bring me serum. I saw some, but didn't bring any. I'll go and get it, okay? You're gonna make it. Thanks. Okay, so the serum is in the save room adjacent to the uh, room that... This is time-based, right? Yep, if you're too slow, he can die. Uh, and the serum is in the save room adjacent to the... Uh, room where we last saw forest. So the fastest way to get there, I do believe, is going downstairs so that we don't encounter him. Because I, I think he's upstairs. Also, uh, if we were playing as Chris... Uh, Rebecca would have been there. Rebecca Chambers from Resident Evil Zero.
Oh my god, the analog stick on this controller is actually starting to break. That's not good. Oh shit. I think I've had this controller for two years. But it's about time I got a new one, I guess. These controllers don't have a great shelf life. I hope whatever they make for the PS5 is, you know, decent. Maybe they could last, I don't know, 10 years. I don't know how long the timer is for for uh Richard. Here Richard. I'm going to give you a shot. Hang in there. Jill. Here's my radio. Take it. I'm <sighs> He's fine. Oh, my back. I'm okay. The others. I think I need the lighter. You're ready. He's alive. Yeah, I need the lighter. I don't remember how to do this puzzle. Apparently I do. Okay. So we got two death masks. From this room, we can go back to the main hallway 
to the backyard, put the two death masks on their pedestals so that we just have uh, item space. Without eyes. All right, two more of those. Now, I have to find an item box. And you know, the, once again, the easiest one to get to is the one that's in the room with Forrest. So here we go. I am clearly by no means a professional Resident Evil 1 player, by the way, in case you haven't noticed. I forget items all the time. I don't know where things are. I play with the infinite rocket launcher because it's funny. LOL. So yeah, when you can tell that when Jill stutters like that, it's because the the analog stick on the controller is acting up. That was a really sinister sound effect for that one. So only. friend touches you, place goes kaboom. Uh, no. Uh, he's only a problem if you attack him in any way. Uh, if you shoot him or use a defensive item because he grabbed you, then the entire mansion explodes. But if he grabs you, you just, you just take normal damage.
Okay, shield key there. Fuck you. Thank God it didn't actually shoot him. Why is it forest? Nasty bastard. How did he get in there? Wait, what? Oh, that's friend. That is friend, yes. I guess I have to be more careful about just not blindly shooting at things. The fact that it didn't actually spawn that zombie until I was actually in that tiny room with it. Yeah, a good thing you missed. I don't think it's that I missed. I think it's that I... Um... I, ju I think that he just didn't exist until I went into that small room. Fuck. Oh, I forgot to unlock that door. That's the problem. Crimson head. Yep, yeah, that was a crimson head. First, well, technically the second one of the game, but... Uh, crimson heads... ...are... Uh, crimson heads can sprint, have... I thought they appeared later. No, they appear now. This one, th right here, is clearly a crimson head, but for some reason he hasn't respawned yet. Um... Uh, my throat hurts. Uh, crimson heads are faster because they run instead of shamble. Uh, they do, they have more health, and they do more damage. Uh, they can, I think, two-shot Jill? It's either two or one shot. Um, but the, the only enemies that do more damage are the hunters, and they can one-shot you. Spoke too soon. Yeah, I don't know why he got to respawn after I shot him. With a rocket. I think this room's useless, except for this item.
music in that room is weirdly spooky. Yeah, I haven't checked this room yet. Lockpick, sweet. Why would you sneak up to somebody and just touch their back? Right. Anyway, you should read this. Research as well. A letter slipped inside. The top part of the letter is torn off. Alma. I've tried to survive only to see you again, but my efforts only delay the inevitable. I'm infected, and there is no cure for what will follow. Except to, except to end my life before I lose the thing that separates me from them. My love for you. Uh, in an hour, I'll have entered my eternal sleep where there is peace. Please understand. Please know that I'm sorry. Martin Crackhorn. What do you make of it? Well, I guess we were right about this mansion being quite unnatural. You have a way with understatements. Where's the part that's torn off? Well, my only guess is that it was the most important part and somebody didn't want anyone to see it. Let's continue our investigation. How do you get in this room if I had to open it with a lockpick? Uh, I'll be right back. I need to open some inventory slots. That guy's not a crimson head yet. Oh, there's a note on the wall. I forgot to read it. Oops. Uh, it's just saying that... Uh, I don't remember who. It's either Barry or Wesker. Dropped some flame rounds and a first aid spray. None of which I can pick up right now. Left you some bullets in the room on the right. Feel free to use them if you manage to get yourself in trouble, Barry. Well, there's. Uh, I think that's a later note then, because he's also supposed to fix that door. But that might be later, or it might have been on the Chris playthrough. Also, um, a good excuse is that uh, Barry came in here and locked the door because he didn't want any zombies getting in. Okay, so here's this puzzle. Get the fish hook. Get the bee lure. Combine these. Got the bee specimen. Put the golden bee here. And the other bee here. Kablamo. Easy baby puzzle for babies. This didn't take me 30 minutes in my first playthrough. Ah, it's a bee. Anyway. 
Oh, that's so stupid. Yep, just shoot a rocket launcher at a bee. Okay, now I'm lost. What's that? What's what? I think I just discovered progress. I should have gone upstairs. This was a waste of time. Man, I sure hope Forrest can't spawn in this room, otherwise I'm screwed. Or this room. I should have taken um, save ribbons with me, but I did a forget. Also, I wish there were more item boxes. Like, I wish there was an item box in this room. But I guess that's part of the point. Okay, so there's a room at the end of this hall that I haven't looked at yet. Remember, kids, Moonlight Sonata opens secret doors.
11 days have passed since arriving on this estate. How did I end up like this guy? A guy in a lab coat brought me a meager plate of food and said, Sorry to put you through this, but it's for security reasons. Then when it hit me, it all makes sense now. There are only two people that know the secret of this mansion. Sir Spencer and myself. Should have used Odev. If they killed me, Sir... I don't think that song existed in 1996. I'm just going to throw this out there. I don't actually know. Uh, if they kill me, Sir Spencer will be the only person that knows the secret. But for what purpose? It doesn't matter now. It's too dangerous here in my family. I hope they're all right. I've decided to escape. Jessica, Lisa, I pray that you were safe. How can I be so careless? I lost my favorite lighter, the one Jessica gave me for my birthday. Now it's going to be that much harder to escape this dark place. The date when my fate was sealed. My aunt was hospitalized just three days before that. Jessica and Lisa said they were going to visit her. I wish I could be there with them. But wait, even as I'm writing, memory is coming back to me more vividly. Just before I passed out, I remember the men in the lab coat said, most likely your family is already. I pray for their safety. Ugh. Somehow I managed to get out of that room. But getting out of this mansion won't be as easy. I have to get past all these the booby traps, tiger eyes, gold emblems. Uh, I have to try and remember for my own sake. Can I play Moonlight Sonata again? No. Okay. So... Poor Lisa. Yeah, they all kind of get it pretty hard. Uh, that's going to be it for today. Um, actually, I have to go this way. Uh, that's going to be it for Thanks today. Thanks for streaming. I hope you enjoyed uh, the start of Resident Evil 1. Uh, despite the fact that I'm being a goof ass and playing on, you know, ridiculous, uh, pseudo hard, but also not because rocket launcher. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed uh, the start of Resident Evil 1. I have to get back to the save room so I can save because I don't have... Anyway, as I was saying, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you next time. As soon as I save. Hold on, I'm sorry. This is taking so long. Okay, we're good. Bye.